The BC100 Bed and Chair Monitor Overview The BC100 Bed and Chair Monitor monitors a bed or chair for occupancy. If a patient tries to leave the bed or chair, the monitor will signal an alarm, notifying you to check the patient immediately. The monitor is compatible with Kerbel's corded chair sensor pads, corded bed sensor pads, corded floor mats, corded toilet seat sensor pads, and corded seat belts. This video is intended as a basic introduction to the features and functionality of this monitor. You must read and understand the directions for use supplied with this monitor. Failure to follow all instructions and safety warnings may result in serious injury or death to a patient. In addition, the monitor's quick setup guide and troubleshooting checklist are available on the Kerbel Medical website, or you can contact your Kerbel sales representative for more information. Powering the monitor. The monitor is battery powered and installation of four AA alkaline batteries is required. Positioning the monitor. Make sure that the monitor is securely mounted to the wheelchair, headboard, footboard, or wall. The monitor can be mounted in several different ways, using the mounting clip on the back of the unit, the Velcro loop, the wall mount screws and sleeves using the keyhole slots, the bed mounting bracket, the magnetic mounting bracket, or the wall mounting bracket. Using the monitor with nurse call. To connect to nurse call, Plug one end of the nurse call cable into the monitor's nurse call jack and the other end into the one quarter inch jack on the patient station. If the monitor alarms, it will be necessary to reset the monitor by turning the on-off switch off, then on again. You will also be required to reset the nurse call station. The monitor will alarm if the nurse call cord is removed and may be canceled by turning the on-off switch off then on again, or reinserting the cord into the monitor. Volume Control To turn the volume up, press and hold the volume button. Release the button when the desired volume is reached. To turn volume down, press and release the volume button, then press the button again and hold it. Release it when the desired volume is reached. Using the monitor with a corded sensor pad. If using the pad for the first time, write the put into use date on the pad and, if applicable, the expiration date. Lay the sensor pad completely flat, positioned where the buttocks of the patient will be placed with the pad stem coming out of the back of the chair or side of the bed. Plug the sensor cord into the monitor sensor jack. Run the sensor's cord around the strain relief to help prevent tension damage to the cord and input jack. The monitor will alarm if the cord is disconnected and may be canceled by turning the on-off switch off, then on again, or reinserting the cord into the monitor. The low battery alarm. When the batteries need replacing, the monitor will automatically activate an alarm notification. The monitor alarm may be temporarily cancelled by turning the on-off switch off, then on again, to allow time for continued use until the batteries are replaced. The Replace Pad Alarm The timed pads have an internal clock that will count down the life of the pad only when the pad is connected or synchronized to the monitor and pressure is applied to the pad. The monitor will automatically activate an alarm notification to replace the pad at the end of its life. The monitor alarm may be temporarily canceled by turning the on-off switch off, then on again, to allow time for continued use until the pad is replaced. Cleaning and care. Cleaning and disinfecting between patients according to facility guidelines and protocol is recommended. Use a damp cloth. 
Clean with a non-aggressive disinfectant cleaner and do not submerge in any liquid. When placing the monitor out of service, visually inspect the monitor and sensor for physical damage. If damage is noted, remove it from service. Disconnect all cords and lay sensor pads flat.